Ayan! Hallelujah! What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters? Welcome to another episode of our weekly Bible study na kung saan linggo-linggo po tayo magsasama-sama na mag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. Alright? Kamusta po kayo? Kamusta po yung uh, buong linggo nyo po, mga kapatid? By the way, kung may mga prayer request po kayo, uh, don't hesitate to put that in the uh, in the comment section below. Alright? Because prayer is powerful po, mga kapatid. Uh, meron nga po tayong kasabihan. Kung walang prayer, walang power. Kaya po, let's pray together, mga kapatid. So, wag na po natin patagalin. Alright? Uh, umpisahan na po natin ang program natin today, tonight. Uh, let's start with prayer and worship na pangungunahan ni Brother Steph, Brother Kenny, and ni Brother Jeff. Alright? Let's go! Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Naway pagpalain po tayo ng ating Panginoon sa gabi dito. At bago po tayo magsimula, ipagdasal muna po natin yung kabutihan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Manalangin po tayo. Panginoon, salamat po sa gabi ito. Salamat po sa lahat ng biyaya. Salamat po sa lahat-lahat po, Panginoon, araw-araw na yung binibigay sa amin. Araw at gabi, Panginoon, salamat po sa uh, pagbigay, Panginoon, ng mga biyaya, Panginoon, at lalong-lalo na po, Panginoon, uh, sa pang-araw-araw namin, lalong-lalo na po sa trabaho, Panginoon. Panginoon, gabayan niyo po kami sa gabi ito at pagpalain niyo po kami, Panginoon. Habang kami ay kumakanta at nag-worship sa iyo, Panginoon, na ay uh, tanggapin mo po, Panginoon, yung aming mga pagpupuri sa iyo, Panginoon. Sa matamis na pangalan ng aming Panginoon Yeso Kristo. Amen. Kantahin po natin yung kay buti-buti mo, Panginoon. Tunay na ikay walang katulad Tunay na 
sa akin ay nagmamahal Salamat po Panginoon sa mga papuri po para sa iyo Panginoon salamat po Panginoon sa talent na binigay niyo sa amin at Panginoon lalong lalo na po sa magbi-message uh, sa iyong word Panginoon ngayong gabi si Senpai Jeff Uh, ikaw po yung magagabay sa kanya, Panginoon, at bigyan mo po siya ng wisdom at karunong ng Panginoon sa pag-share sa iyong gospel, Panginoon. At marami pang mga tao, Panginoon, hindi lang mga Pilipino, mga Brazilian, mga Japanese, Panginoon, ang tatanggap sa iyo, kundi Panginoon yung lahat ng lahi, Panginoon, sa buong mundo, Panginoon. Lord, wala pong imposible sa iyo, Panginoon. Lahat po ay posible po sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa lahat-lahat. Ito ay aming idinalangin, Panginoon, lahat ng papuri sa aming Panginoong Iso Kristo lamang. Wala nang iba. Magpakailan man. Amen and Amen and Amen. Ayan. Purihin po, Panginoon. Purihin po ang ating Panginoon. Napakabuti po ng ating Diyos. Hallelujah. Salamat. Salamat, Brother Steph. Salamat, Brother Kenyon, Brother Jeff. Purihin ang Panginoon in the name of Jesus. Let's start, mga kapatid. So, our team, or the team of the message uh, tonight or today is no turning back. No turning back, alright? So, let's read 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse, 8, uh, verse 7 to 8. So, I'm going to put that in the screen. Alright. And let's read together. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now, there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which is the Lord. The righteous judge will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who, who have longed for his appearing. Hallelujah! Purihin po ang ating Panginoon sa pagkakabasa ng, at, ng salita ng Diyos. Hallelujah! You know, brothers and sisters, our main goal of being a Christian is to be with the Lord in heaven. Tama po ba? Of course, we should we should also share the love of God. We should also share His Word to everybody, to all the people. Tama po ba? Of course, di ba? Ito po yung mission. Ito po yung purpose kung bakit tayo tinawag ng Panginoon. Alright? Let's... I'm gonna put the song a little bit more uh, lower. Alright? Ito po yung, 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 yung purpose and mission ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Yung mag-share po tayo ng salita ng, ng Panginoon. Yung i-share po natin yung love ni Jesus to everybody. For them na magkaroon sila ng salvation. For them na makasama nila si Lord sa heaven. Tama po ba? But the main goal is for us to be in heaven with God. Amen po ba? Are you agree with me, mga kapatid? So this is the reason why we need to fight and be victorious each day. We need to finish the race. We need to keep the faith. Why? For all of us to receive the crown of righteousness, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, mga kapatid. Si Lord Jesus Christ po yung uh, magja-justify ng ating mga kasalanan, Siya po yung magiging attorney po natin in the day of judgment, mga kapatid. Because all of us are sinners. All of us fall short of the glory of God. Tama po ba? Araw-araw po, kahit hindi po natin sinasadya, nagkakaroon po tayo ng pagkakasala against God because we have simple nature inside of us. For this reason, we need a Savior. We need Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, na siya pong magiging attorney natin, na siya pong magja-justify ng ating mga kasalanan in the time of judgment. 
Ito po yung mission ni Lord sa ating buhay, na siya po yung maging savior natin, na siya po yung uh, mag-save sa atin. Amen? But let me remind you, mga kapatid, let me remind you that if God is working on our lives every day, He's, he's trying um, uh, His best to save us, but let me remind you that Satan, who is the God of this world, mga kapatid, who is the God of this world, all right, will do his best. He and his demons will do his best. To what? For what? To defeat you in the fight. To distract you not to finish the race. To take away your faith in Jesus. Ito po yung mission ni Satanas sa ating buhay. Because Satan comes to steal kill, and destroy. He wants us to be with Him in hell. Ito po yung mission niya. This is the reason why many people today, until today, lost their faith and turned away from God because they fall from the sin or the scheme of the devil. Marami po sa atin, even mga kapatid, yung Prominent Christian, yung ginamit na ng Panginoon, powerfully, marami nang na-save through them, alright, na ginamit ng Panginoon ng buhay nila, pero still, at the end of the day, they fall short. They lost their faith in God. I'll give you some example. Former Pastor Joshua Harris he is the author of the book such as I Kiss, Dating Goodbye, Boy Meets Girl. Mga kapatid, I even read his book. I even bought and read his book. This is crazy. One more. Marty Samson, a Hillsong worship leader of many years. Diba? Ginamit siya ng Panginoon through his talent sa pag-worship. Paul Maxwell, a former contributor to John Piper's hugely popular apologistic website, Desiring God, has announced he is no longer a Christian. Mga kapatid, how? Paano ito nangyari? This is very, very serious and crazy, mga kapatid. The fact is, if this thing happened to them, it could happen to you and me as well. Very serious and very crazy and very dangerous, mga kapatid. But the question are, how can we fight a good fight of faith? How can we finish the race? How can we keep our faith in God until to the end? Mga kapatid, it's very interesting. Bago ko pa tanungin itong mga question na ito, Meron nang sagot si Lord. Ang galing ni Lord talaga. Siya lagi yung nagpo-provide. Kung may binabato si Saranas, meron din siyang ibinabato para i-save tayo. And bago ko pa tanungin yung mga ah, ah, question na ito, meron na kagad siya sagot. Amen? So the first question, eto, how can we fight a good fight of faith? Eto po yung, yung answer ni Lord. Let's read in Joshua 1, uh, verse 7 to 9. Alright? Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate it. Or meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. Purin po ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. So, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, paano ba natin, how can we fight a good fight of faith? God is saying, be strong and be courageous. 
Mga kapatid, araw-araw, sa araw-araw meron challenges na dumadating, araw-araw meron tayong situation na hindi natin inaasahan na makapagpapahina sa atin, na makapagbibigay sa atin ng kalungkutan. But God is saying to us, you know, be strong and be courageous. And in order for us to fight a good fight of faith, God is saying, be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave to you. It means, be careful to obey the word, the word of God, mga kapatid. The word of God. Be careful to obey the word of God. At sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin, don't, do not turn from it to the right or to the left. Ibig sabihin, most of the days, di ba, mga kapatid, a lot of voice, voices. Hindi, lang, hindi na tayo lalayas sa YouTube, sa Facebook. There's a lot of voices na nagsasabi na ganito, ganito, gawin mo yan, gawin mo to, para maging successful ka, ito, sundin mo ito. But God is saying us, how can we fight a good fight of faith? Be strong and be courageous, very courageous. And also, be careful to obey the word of God. Huwag daw tayong ano, uh, lalayo sa salita ng Diyos at pupunta sa kaliwa o sa kanan. But God is saying to us that if, eto, eto pa, if we keep this book of the law in our lips and, and we meditate it day and night, you know, eto lang daw yung makapagbibigay sa atin ng success. Amen? Sabi ng, ng Bible, then you will be prosperous and successful. The Word of God is the answer for everything. If, if, the life or if Satan gives you problem or if you encounter problems or if you are in a situation that you cannot control anymore, sabi ng Panginoon, meditate the Word of God day and night. This is how we can fight a good fight of faith. God is saying to us, be strong and be courageous. Do not be discouraged, mga kapatid. Do not be afraid. Meron nga po tayong, meron nga pong salita sa Bible, di ba? Sabi ni Lord, if God is with us, who can be against us? So no matter, you know, kung gaano man kabigat, kung gaano man katindi yung, yung problema na ating pinagdadaanan, kung ano man yung sitwasyon na pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, sinasabi ng Panginoon, if God is with us, who can be against us? So let's remind ourselves that instead of being worried or being afraid, eh bakit ang gawin na lang natin, i-meditate natin yung salita ng Panginoon. Be strong and be courageous. Kasi kasama mo sa, si Lord, kasama mo ang ating Panginoong Diyos. At kung kasama mo ang ating Panginoong Diyos, mga kapatid, wala, walang makakagapi sa'yo, walang makakatalo sa'yo. This is how we can fight a good fight of faith. Amen? Napakabuti ng Panginoon. It's just a matter of how much you spend your time with the Word of God. Instead of, you know, pagkagising mo pa lang sa umaga, hold na kagad yung cellphone mo, tingin kagad ng Facebook, bakit mo magbasa, ano? Why don't you read the Bible? Amen? Why don't you pray? Because pray is powerful. Amen? It's just a matter of of how much you spend your time in the Word of God. No matter what your situation may be, whether good or bad, whether you feel weak, sad, or lost, sabi ng Panginoon, if you keep the Word of God in your heart, believe and practice it, you will stay victorious until to the end. Amen po ba, mga kapatid? The second question na dapat natin sagutin for tonight or for, for this video, for this Bible study, mga kapatid, how can we finish the race? How can we finish the race? Let's open uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27. I will put this in the screen. Alright, let's read together. We need to have self-discipline. Do you not know that in the race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the game goes into strict training. All right. Uh, don't do it to get 
a crown that will not last. But we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating in the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Purihin po ang Panginoon sa pagkakabasa ng ating mga sa ng, ng salita ng Diyos. Hallelujah! Sabi, how can we finish the race, mga kapatid? We need to have self-discipline. Apostle Paul is telling us, meron siyang analogy na sinabi na kung yung mga runners, kung yung mga athletes, kung yung mga yung boxer, before they compete, they, before they fight, di ba anong ginagawa nila? Nagka, meron silang self-discipline. Kumakain sila ng mga masustansyang pagkain, kumakain sila ng, ng mga healthy na, na, na vitamins, o nagkitake sila ng mga healthy na vitamins. At in the same way, pinalalakas nila ang katawan nila, eh nagtitrain sila, nagpa-practice sila. Amen. Talagang they push their they push their body into into um, yung hanggang sa limit ng katawan natin. Tama po ba? They do this in order for them to win, in order for them to be victorious. Meron silang self-discipline. In the same way po sa ating buhay mga kapatid. Meron po tayong race. Meron po tayong, uh, 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 what, you, what you call this, yung parang destination. Hindi lamang po tayo nabubuhay para mabuhay lang dito sa mundo. Meron po tayong uh, goal sa buhay, mga kapatid. God give us life, of course, to enjoy, of course, to have a good life, of course, to have abundant life. But at the end of the day, meron po tayong goal. Ang goal po natin, kung bakit binibigyan tayo ng Diyos, Ito po yung buhay natin dito sa mundo is a, a patikim lamang po. Meron po tayong another life in the future and which is eternal. Our life here is just temporary. But our main goal is to be with God in heaven eternal. Yung panghabang buhay po. But in order for us to finish or to reach that goal, ang goal po natin na si Lord Jesus, di ba po? In order for us to finish and to be victorious, in order for us to reach that goal, eh kailangan po magkaroon tayo ng self-discipline. Kailangan po kumai, kumain po tayo ng good food. Di ba po, like what I said um, before, di ba, there's a lot of voices right now. There's a lot of people, anything, nagsasabi sa'yo na gawin mo to para makaging successful ka, na gawin mo to para mabuhay ka ng maayos. But all of them is just here, mga kapatid. Just here in this earth. But God is saying us, we must feed our body, our soul, and our spirit with the word of God. We need to have self-discipline. So instead na, you know, we you spend too much time pananood ng TV, too much time in Facebook, too much time in YouTube, why don't you read Bible, why don't you feed yourself? Why don't you fill your body, soul, and spirit with the Word of God in order for you to reach the goal, which is the Lord Jesus Christ? But we need to have self-discipline, mga kapatid. So instead of you know spending too much time, like I said earlier, in the, in the Facebook, in the YouTube, why don't you give yourself a time to read the Word of God? Why don't you see, uh, give yourself a time to, to watch some um, videos, preaches like this? For you to learn the Word of God, for you to, to, to know God more. Because only God can give us eternal life and only Jesus can save us. Mga kapatid, and when you receive the word of God, and when you, when you read the word of God, and when you listen the word of God in, in preaches, in the, in, the, in the church, we need to practice it. Like the runners, like the boxers, they practice, they train their body. 
You read the word of God, you practice it and develop it. Ito po yun, mga kapatid. This is how we can finish the race. By having self-discipline. By feeding ourselves with the word of God, mga kapatid. It's just a matter of self-discipline. We must read the Bible every single day. Tama po ba? Not only reading, but practice it, mga kapatid. And most especially, in order for us to stay and win the race, we make our body slave to the Lord. We make our body slave. Kung ang isip po natin mayroong sinasabing uh, something, yung katawan po natin may sinasabi di po other thing. Because our body has a sinful nature. As long as we live here on this earth, because we're still living in a broken world, our, we have a sinful nature in, inside of us. Na gusto niyang uh, uh, gawin yung against the word of God. But in order for us na maging slave natin yung katawan natin, we need the word of God. We need to practice it. We need to have self-discipline. Heto po yung dapat nating gawin, mga kapatid. Sabi nga po ni Apostle Paul, sinabi, sinabi niya, di ba, sa Word of God, uh, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. Sinasabi niya na he beat his body he make it slave to the word of God. Hindi niya sinusunod yung laman niya, yung flesh niya. But instead, he followed the word of God. Kung meron nga po um, mga manual, yung mga yung camera, yung, yung computer, meron din po tayong manual. At ang manual po natin ay ang salita ng Panginoon, yung pong Bible. Amen? Amen po ba, mga kapatid? This is how we finish the race. Amen? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So, third question na dapat po natin sagutin in this study, how can we keep our faith in God until to the end? Amen? So, I'm gonna open it and put that, put that in the screen. Hallelujah! Purihin po ang ating Panginoon. Alright. Sabi po, sa Matthew 6.33, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Hallelujah! In Jesus' name, purihin ka, Panginoon. Of course, this verse, uh, the, con the main context of this verse is about you being worried about what you eat, what you drink, what you wear. But we can use this verse in our lives, in everything, mga kapatid. Alright? In the name of Jesus, makagagamit natin itong verse na ito. Sabi nga po, di ba, how can we keep our faith in God? Sinasabi po sa atin ng Panginoon, seek First, His kingdom and right in His righteousness. Seek first His kingdom. Seek first God above all else, mga kapatid. It means to say that we must decide to ourselves that, you know, each day, every day, we prioritize God. We can say to ourselves, you know, I decide to this day, I prioritize God. When I just open my eyes, I decided today that I will prioritize you, Lord. I will glorify you in my mind, in my words, in my action. And mga kapatid, this is how we can keep our faith in God. If we seek God first, mga kapatid. You see, all of the birds that we, you know, we, we talk about, Right now, sa ating study, is related to each other. Because God is true, mga kapatid. We can, you know, choose, di ba, pagkagising pa lamang natin sa umaga, 
sa mga ginagawa natin sa trabaho, di ba? Nagdi-decide tayo. But if we decide to ourselves to to put God first in our lives, ito po yung makapagbibigay sa atin. Yung ito po yung makapagpapanatili ng pananampalataya natin sa Diyos until to the end. The devil will try his best to defeat you because he only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He only comes to steal, to steal your joy, to steal your happiness, to steal everything, and to kill you, to destroy you, to destroy your dreams. Akala nyo ba, mga kapatid, na purkit nagagawa nyo yung mga gusto nyong bagay or yung na, na, you know, nakapag... Uh, nagagawa nyo yung mga bagay na hindi naman kaloob ng Diyos at uh, makapansamantala lang ma- lamang yon mga kapatid at ito yung line ng ni Satanas para pabagsakin tayo ito yung line ni Satanas para palayuin tayo sa Kanya but how can we keep our faith in God until to the end? ito yung isik natin siya first above all else kung nag-aantay ka ng relationship, kung nag- ang tagal-tagal mo ng single, kung lalampas ka na sa, sa kalendaryo, huwag kang mag-alala mga kapatid. Huwag kayong mag-alala. God, merong pinay-prepare para sa'yo. Mag-antay ka lang. Ang gusto niya lang gawin, ang gusto mo lang gawin, ay yung isik siya. I-prioritize siya. First, above all else. Kung ikaw, ay um, namumublema financially. Amen? Which is all of us. Pinagdadaanan natin ito. Huwag kang mag-alala. Instead of being worried, why don't you pray? Why don't you spend time with God by reading His Bible? He's the Word of God. Amen? Ito po yung gusto ni Lord sa ating buhay. Ah, Siyempre, sinasabi mo, ah, busy ako sa work. Busy ako, wala na akong time sa ganyan-ganyan. Ito, dito ka dapat mag-alala kasi paano kung si Lord naman yung mawala ng time sa'yo? Ah, meron akong exam. Ah, kailangan kong mag-study. Kailangan kong i-prioritize yung study nito kaysa sa pagpunta sa church, kaysa manood ng Bible study or kay, kaysa mag-pray. Man! Hindi mo ba alam na si, si Lord, uh, siya yung nagbibigay sa atin ng wisdom and knowledge siya yung nagpapaalala sa atin kung yeah of course i'm not i'm not saying not to study all right you need to study in order for you to 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 uh, to pass the test to be successful but I, what i'm saying mga kapatid is if you prioritize god if you trust in him first of course we need to study we need to to read we need to practice but if we Put God first above all else. He, he is the one will bring back into your memory. He will be. He is the one will give you capability to to be successful in life. To be to pass the exam. God wants for all of us to prioritize Him. And if we do this every day, sa ating buhay, mga kapatid. Magtatagumpay tayo until to the end. Kahit anong iba to ni Satanas sa atin, anumang temptation. Kasi alam niya yung, yung, yung kahinaan natin. Yun yung ibabato niya palagi. Yun yung i-replay, i-replay, ibabato niya, ibabato niya. Araw-araw sa atin para palayuin tayo sa Diyos. Para pabagsakin tayo. Para palungkutin tayo. Pero if we choose to follow God, if we choose to prioritize Him each day, every day, single day of our lives, mga kapatid, <laughs> man, magtatagumpay tayo. Man, until to the end, we will stay strong and victorious. Tama ba? You agree with me, mga kapatid? Amen? Sabi nga, di ba? I have fought the good fight. I have finished race. Sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, hindi lang, hindi niya naman ito ginaw, na, hindi naman ito nangyari sa buhay niya na parang ganun lang. Pero, ano yung pinag-aralan natin? Ginawa niya yung mga pinag-aralan natin. Nagkaroon siya ng self-discipline. Uh, 
pinanatili niya yung, yung word of God sa kanyang puso, mineditate niya ito, because the word of God says, if the heart is full, the mouth speak, di ba? Kung ano yung laman ng puso natin, yun yung sinasabi natin. Kung ang laman ng puso natin ang salita ng Diyos, kung pinaprioritize natin siya, ito yung lalabas sa atin, ito yung mag, mag, magkahari sa atin. Amen? Hallelujah! Purihin na po ang ating Panginoon. It means, na mga kapatid, kapag pinarioritize natin si Lord, this is how we keep our faith in God until to the end. Amen? So in conclusion, mga kapatid, what we have, ano, ano ba yung nap- natutunan natin today? What we learn today is just, a, how, is just a matter of how much you spend your time with the Lord of God. You know, no matter what your situation may be, whether good or bad, whether you feel weak, sad, and lost, if you keep the Word of God in your heart, believe and practice it, you will stay strong and victorious until to the end. It, and then secondly, it's just a matter of self-discipline. All right, We must read the Bible every single day of our lives. Amen? Not only reading it, but also practicing it. And this is the time, you know, most especially in order for us to stay and win the race, we must make our body slave. Hindi dapat natin sinusunod yung flash natin, kundi yung salita ni Lord, kundi yung banyang uh, banal na espiritu na, siya, na siyang magtuturo sa atin na gawin yung kalooban ng Panginoon. Hallelujah! Amen? Amen po ba? And lastly, it means to say we must decide to ourselves each day that we must prioritize God. Amen? When we just open our eyes and let's say, you know, thank God instead of holding fo- your phone first, why don't you praise God? Why don't you say, thank you, Lord, for giving me another life? You know, for... for for blessing me another new day. Why don't you thank God? Let's prioritize God each day, every moment, and decide to yourself, you know, tell to yourself every day, I decided that today I will prioritize you, Lord, that I will glorify you in my mind, I will glorify you in my words, and in my action. Mga kapatid, this is how we can keep our faith in God. Purihin po, pang, purihin po ang Panginoon, mga kapatid. No turning back, si Lord lang ang makapagbibigay sa atin ng salvation. Si Lord lang ang makapagbibigay sa atin ng pagkakataon na makapamuhay tayo eternally with Him. So kanino ka pa kakampi? Kanino ka pa pupunta? Diba kay Lord na dapat? Amen. In Jesus' name, purihin po ang Panginoon. I hope meron po kayo natutunan for this study. Maraming maraming pong salamat. I hope next uh, study, sumama ulit kayo sa amin. Alright? And don't forget to share this video para marami pong makapanood, para maraming, maraming pong mabahagian natin ang salita ng Diyos. It's just one or two clicks away para i-share po ito. Alright? God bless you, mga kapatid. I hope this message, you know, uh, teach you something. I hope this message will change your life because, you know, God wants you to be with Him in heaven. Our life here on this earth is just temporary. Our life in a second, on the other side, is eternal. Pero dalawa po yun. It's in hell or it's in heaven. Kanino ka pa? Marami po sa atin, gusto, lahat po tayo gusto makarating sa, kung sa kahit sinong tao ang gusto mong tanungin, ah, yung tatanungin mo, nasasagot nila, gusto nila mapunta sa heaven. But ask them, kung ginagawa ba nila yung kalooban ng Diyos, kung ginagawa ba nila yung requirement ni Lord. And for us, mga kapatid, let's choose to do the work of God. Let's choose to, to glorify Him. Let's choose to to do the will of God in our lives 
And then, yung will niya, ay yung magkaroon tayo ng personal relationship sa kanya. Amen po ba? Let's start, uh, let's, let's finish this with prayer, mga kapatid. Pag-pray po natin. Pag-pray ko po kayo, mga kapatid. Amen. Panginoon Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, Lord, maraming maraming pong salamat for giving me wisdom and knowledge to preach the, this word powerfully. And I hope, Panginoon, bless each person na makakapanood ng video na ito. Bless each person, Panginoon, na magkaroon sila ng open heart and open mind, Lord God, to receive your word, God. Because ikaw lamang po, Panginoon, na makapagbibigay sa amin, Panginoon, ng salvation. Ikaw lamang po, Panginoon, ang sa mga salita mo lamang po, Panginoon, na makapagbibigay ng eternal life, O oh Lord God. Many people are speaking right now, but their word is just here on this earth. But your word is eternal, Panginoon. Kaya po, Panginoon, tulungan mo, Panginoon, kami na maintindihan. Tulungan mo, Panginoon, kami na ikaw ang i-prioritize namin every day, God. We must finish the race, Lord. And help us not to turn our back from you, Lord Jesus. Tulungan mo kami na magpatuloy, O Lord God. Magpatuloy sa para ng palataya namin sa iyo. Bless us, O Lord God, with your Holy Spirit na siya pong mag, maggagabay at magtuturo sa amin, Panginoon, makapamuhay, Panginoon, na according to your will and purpose, O Lord. I bless person na makapanunod, makapanunod ng, ng video na ito, Pangin, Panginoon. Tulungan mo sila, Lord God, not only Lord Jesus financially, but also spiritually, Lord God. Bless us, O Lord. Pagalingin mo rin po yung mga tao may sakit right now. Pagalingin mo po po sila. Pag, at yung mga tao, Panginoon, na mayroong pinagdadaanan, make them strong, Lord God. Tulungan mo sila, Panginoon, to be victorious. Tulungan mo sila to be strong, O God. Salamat po, Panginoon. Napakabuti mo, Panginoon, sa amin, O Lord God. Purihin at sambahin ka in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Purihin po ang ating Panginoon. Salamat po sa inyong panonood. At dalangin ko na magpatuloy kayo sa pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Jesus. At uh, share this video, mga kapatid. Amen? God bless you. See you on the next video. Alright? Alright. We have saying, kung walang prayer, walang power. Amen? So keep on praying, guys. In Jesus' name. We love you, guys.